Oh man, you know AB, Athletic Bastard versus Mikey Garcia. Do you guys want to see something like that? What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, shout out to Ring TV. They conducted an interview, exclusive interview with Showtime exec Steven Espinoza. And he had some very interesting things to say. And he says they would like to build towards a possible Adrian Broner versus Mikey Garcia showdown. Now, I haven't heard if Mikey Garcia is officially, officially Heyman, but he is having a fight. Showtime just dropped the bomb. Their their upcoming calendar is great. A lot of double headers. Julian J. Rock, Williams, Charlo. You also have Abnamadis Cuellar, who did a press conference yesterday. Another double header. You got Mikey Garcia versus Dejan Zlatishanin. And that's a co-made event to a rematch between Carl Frampton and Leo Santa Cruz, too. So, a lot of action. Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman. And he says in the future, they would like to build up to a possible Adrian Broner, Mikey Garcia fight. He says if Garcia is at 140, you could sort of mix and match some of the names on the slate. And I'd like to say somewhere in the future, an Adrian Broner, Mikey Garcia fight may be at 140. It's just my idea. You can't get ahead of yourself. Mikey has to see how he feels at 135. He goes on to say some things that's very interesting he he kind of showed the contrast in terms of character mikey garcia during that hiatus or at some point he graduated from the police a academy in southern california broner has had a string of episodes like the suicide attempt or whatever that was some run-ins with the law and stuff like that so he he knows he's he's thinking with his business mind and thinking cap aside from it being a good fight you look at the contrast in character, it'd be kind of like a good guy versus a bad guy, like De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather for this generation in terms of the two characters. Broner, I'm not saying he's a bad person, but he's perceived as the more villainous type, aside from Mikey Garcia, who's kind of quiet but gets busy in the ring. Steven Espinosa wrapped up and said, if you ever spoke to Garcia, he has very specific objectives. His first objective is to get a world title, and Zlatishanin was the quickest way to do that. And the next goal is pound for pound list. I can see him campaigning at either 135 or 40 in a couple years, depending on where he feels more comfortable. If he feels comfortable at 35, I think he'll be there for a long time. Again, link in the description. Me, I love the fight. Broner, he sells tickets. Love him or hate him. He sells tickets. Mikey Garcia, very technical. But the thing that's very interesting is, is I, I rate Mikey Garcia. He follows me on Instagram and on Twitter. I've interviewed him. Great technical fighter. But people forget as bad as badass as Mikey Garcia is, most of his accomplishments were several divisions down, right? Those are facts. In the 120s, that's in 130, I think. That's where his accomplishments were. And then he had that long tumultuous battle with top rank so it's going to be interesting like steven espinoza is saying to see how he feels at this weight because realistically we hadn't seen mikey garcia for years you know what i mean two plus years over two years and he only had one fight back and that was at a catch weight of 140 against a, a guy who's never campaigned at 140 i think it was a 135 pounder in elio rojas so we got to see how Mikey Garcia looks. And they both have tough fights. Adrian Broner versus Adrian Granados. And then Mikey Garcia versus the champion, Dejan Slatisini. You know what I'm saying? So this, if they both win emphatically, that's a big fight brewing. I wanted to see Danny Garcia, Mikey Garcia. But Danny Garcia seems to be growing and he's no longer at 140. So I think Broner might be a little bit easier to make since Broner said he was moving up. But he says he can make 140 and he's fighting there still so it's a good fight good stylistic matchup mikey garcia very technical but you can't sleep on broner he's very athletically gifted i would say he has the hand speed advantage you they're both economical with their punches to be honest and broner fights flat-footed so it would be a hell of a war but you can't chump broner because broner has continually fought bigger guys sean porter and marcos madonna guys like that so I don't know if it, some people are going to just hear the matchup and be like, based on the, the technical gifts of Mikey Garcia, they're going to be like, oh, easy work. But the fact that Broner has experience at the higher weights, I don't think it would be easy work per se. Great fight. Let me know what you guys think. Broner versus Mikey Garcia. Hopefully Showtime can get that done. But first they have 
tall orders in their own near future. Let me know what you guys think. Share the video, like the video as always. Hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.